Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to discuss on how to make your Wi-Fi speed better without buying a new Wi-Fi router. Or if you already purchased a new third-party Wi-Fi router and you're still getting a slow speed with your Wi-Fi connection. I mentioned Wi-Fi speed because your internet speed is actually still based on the speed that you're actually getting from your internet service provider. To get your actual speed, plug a LAN cable to your laptop or desktop do a speed test and that would be the maximum internet speed that you can actually achieve. Going back to improving your Wi-Fi performance and speed involves in tweaking a configuration in your modem router, Wi-Fi router, or even access point. And it would be changing the channel. Okay, you heard tweaking a configuration, you don't need to worry or be scared. This won't break your Wi-Fi router, access point, or modem router. And this configuration change is actually very easy. I'll try to show it to you later on. Before we show you the actual change in the channel, let us have a look of the speed that we are getting right now and an initial test from our converged modem router 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. Right now, we have here a mobile phone which is a Huawei P30 Pro. It's an old model but it will be sufficient to do the actual test. And right now, we are connected to the converged 2.4 and let's try to hit go for this one. Okay guys, we are going to perform five speed test for the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi frequency to get an accurate speed or bandwidth that we are actually getting from our modem router. Okay guys, and there you go. We are going to check the result and as you can see, we are average on 60 to 70 plus Mbps for download while for upload, it's the same, 60 to 70 Mbps for upload. Okay, this is the result that we got without changing anything from our modem router or the Converge Huawei modem router that our internet service provider provided to us. Okay, let's try to discuss what really happens here. Okay, honestly, our internet subscription plan from Converge is plan 2500, which is around 300 Mbps as of now. And let's try to check what, why are we only getting this one? Okay, let us go to the tool that we have downloaded. It is the Wi-Fi analyzer. You can download it on your uh, Android phone or uh, Apple devices, Apple phone. And try to open the Wi-Fi analyzer. Okay, there is a commercial in here, but guys, as you can see in here, this actually shows you the different Wi-Fi available within your area. As you can see, uh, we are connected to Converge 2.4 Wi-Fi SSID. And as you can see, you, it is actually overlapping with the other Wi-Fi SSID. This is actually a Wi-Fi interference. If there are a lot of Wi-Fi SSID or Wi-Fi signals that are actually using the same channel. So as you can see here, Converge is uh, around channel one and this tool will also show you how or what is the best channel available for your Wi-Fi network. As you can see for the 2.4, let us click the star. And right now, as you can see, channel one is actually poor because there is an overlapping SSID or Wi-Fi network with channel one. And the available channels that we can use is uh, 3 to 14, but it actually depends on our region if we are allowed to use a uh, channel 14, 13, but I believe we can choose channel 11 for now to change this one. Okay, and going back to our speed test. Okay, this is our initial and let's try to change the configuration now with our Converge Huawei modem router, changing the channel to channel 11. Okay, to be able to change the channel on your Wi-Fi router, modem router, or even access point, you need to access the web management console. And we're going to use my laptop to change the channel of our Huawei modem router. Okay, as you can see here, the web management page and enter the username and password. And let's try to access this one. And after that one, go to WLAN. Okay, and we're going to advance. And guys, this is actually the same with other modem router or Wi-Fi router. You need to go to the wireless settings or wireless configuration. In this case, we have the advanced network settings. As you can see here, our channel is actually set to one. We have 
configure this channel one earlier just to show you the actual test and perform an overlapping channel with the other Wi-Fi routers. Okay, and right now, there's actually an automatic, okay? Let me explain to you that the automatic, yes, it works. It will try to find the best channel available within your area, but sometimes it doesn't work. So from time to time, if you're having an issue with a speed or connectivity, try to ch check the channel and scan your Wi-Fi area with Wi-Fi analyzer to check the best channel available. But right now, we're going to choose 11. Okay, then after that one, hit apply. Okay, before we proceed with the test, let us try to check if it already changes the channel, the Converge 2.4 Wi-Fi network. Okay, it will refresh eventually. And as you can see here, the red one is actually the Converge 2.4. It changes the channel. Guys, it still overlaps with the other channel because it's the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. And that's normal, but we are out of the other Wi-Fi SSID that we have in the area. It's not overlapping with them anymore. So let us try to check if there's an actual improvement of the Wi-Fi speed or the internet speed that we can get from this tweak. Okay, and going back here, close and five tests again. And that is the actual result that we get from our two tests. Just changing the channel of our Converge 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi to channel 11, it gave us a better connection or better internet speed. This is also applicable with 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency. Although for 5 GHz Wi-Fi frequency, there is a lot of non-overlapping channel, so it is not a major issue. And 5 GHz has less range compared to 2.4, so your neighbor's 5 GHz might not actually overlap with your 5 GHz network. But there might be some exception, like if they purchase a really powerful Wi-Fi router, and that is the time that their Wi-Fi network will actually overlap with your Wi-Fi network. And in a real-world scenario, here is the available 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network in my balcony, and all the channel is fully utilized, and there is always an overlap. And guys, I would just like to show you a test on my 5 GHz Wi-Fi network using the same stock modem but the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. As you can see, I'm having the best connection as possible. And in conclusion, as much as possible, connect to the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi frequency for better connection and you don't need to tweak anything. Just set it to automatic. Or if you're Actually, after the range, connect to the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network. Always check the best available channel for better connection. And I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have comment and suggestion, comment down below or message me at JK Chavez and Epi. Again, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and bye.